Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. It's time for another daily dose of dismal Disney. Mm -hmm. uh, in this particular case, Disney's CFO, Christine McCarthy, you know, the one who looks like Cruella DeVille, said people uh, eat too much at Disney. They're well, that's too, not what she said. Too fat. It was kind of implied. Heavily implied. <laughs> pun on the heavily. And also the one who gets an $11 million uh, bonus every year when other people are getting laid off. That Christine McCarthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she can't remember the name of the Galactic Star Cruiser. Yeah. This is uh, after Chapek was at that, that, that commencement speech in Indiana and he used, he used the wrong motto for Walt Disney World. He used the Disneyland one. Which, I mean, that one, I can understand getting a little mixed up. But this I, one's a bigger deal. Yeah. Uh, so here's here's the thing, right? Uh, people people f up all the time. They f up names all the time. I f up names all the time. Uh, I am not a Disney executive talking about what is the most um, pr heavily promoted thing that they're doing yes. in the theme parks right now. They're trying to make sure this thing sticks no matter what. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about that because at one one point in time she actually calls it the Battlestar Galactica, <clears throat> which is owned by their <laughs> she competition. Said She's called Star Galactica Hotel. It's like wait, Battlestar Galactica is owned by your direct competitor. NBC. Well, everybody kept saying it like uh, about Star Galactica or Fifth Element or something else and not Star Wars. Apparently, she thinks so, too. Yeah, so we're going to talk about that. Man, it's Freudian slip. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Almost 268,000 subs. We're like 15 away, so hit the subscribe button, please. Uh, we do talk a lot about Disney having worked in and around the company for a uh, number of years, uh, still having friends over there, believe it or not, and uh, we do go to the parks. And people get angry at us for going to the parks. I don't care. And they get angry at us if we don't go to the parks. And they get angry at us for existing. That's true. So let's let's talk about this. Uh, again, not a huge deal, just funny. It, it is, was funny. It's funny. It was funny. So Blog Mickey put the video up. This is Christine McCarthy. Um, I had to get Alex, <laughs> Alex Trebek in there. Uh, Christine McCarthy at an event in Walt Disney World. And she's talking about the Galactic Star Cruiser. And it takes her... Three or four tries. She doesn't even get it right. At the very end, they said Starship, Star Galactica, and Galactic Starship. It's still called the Galactic Star, Star Cruiser. Cruiser. But we're going to listen to a clip of this video. And uh, again, when you're put on the spot, I understand you blanking. But they've only been talking about this thing endlessly mm -hmm. for years. So it was a little weird to call it the, the Star Galactica new attractions that we have and certainly the the, the new um we don't even call it a hotel it's the interactive immersive experience of uh, starship uh, star galactica and galactic starship excuse me no that's still there, still wrong and no one corrects her nobody well what are you gonna do be like no yell it out in the audience or something this is like some some clearly uh, uh, like I mean, an executive it's thing. It's the Star Galactic Star Cruiser, but still, yeah. So Star Galactic again. Want to remind people that uh, NBC Universal owns Battlestar Galactica, which is weird because the original Battlestar Galactica was basically a Star Wars knockoff. Yes, it's true. And and she's like, it's it's the Star Galactica Galactica Hotel, but it wasn't just that. So here's the thing. It was uh, the Bob Chapek during a commencement speech just a couple of weeks ago uh, got the mottos mixed up for Disney. Um, he said that Walt Disney World is the happiest place on earth per WDW News Today. And uh, Disneyland is technically the happiest place on earth in Disney World, or rather Walt Disney World is the most magical right. place. Right. I mean, that one, he, they're from California, so I can kind of understand it, you know, that one. But you're the CEO of the company, <laughs> so... I, I think that's where... Dopsy. I think at this point, with all the backlash and, uh, you know, toward Disney, that a lot of Disney fans or people who are disgruntled with, disgruntled with Disney are going to look for any and all reason to get mad. Well, don't, um, well, here's what's funny to me. What's really funny to me, though, is how we know about a lot of this stuff is the people that have shit on us for calling out Disney for stuff and for you're too negative and actually have sent people our way to harass us and things are the ones jumping on it now, calling it out. I'm not talking about, like, WWE News Day or anything like that. And I'm not Blog Mickey either. But, like, a lot of the places that were like, you're too negative. You're, how, you know, oh, go tell them, you know, clown shoes. You don't like Disney. Call, go go harass them because they're not pixie dust and magical. Are the people who are laughing and calling out Disney now. Fuck you. Yeah, I was, I was uh, very, and I've been very unhappy with, with that whole situation because, yeah, there are some... Disney influencers or rather wannabe Disney influencers 
who have been throwing shade at us or throwing shade at us when we were, you know, talking about the leaks regarding which we were right about Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, we had an Imagineer come to us, and um, you know, these same people now are are throwing Disney under every the bus. time there's some of these things happen. They're the ones like we didn't make a big deal about the Bob Chapek thing, but a lot of them did. Yeah, we yeah. don't. We weren't even making a big deal about this because I mean it's funny, but it's like I can't understand why you trip something like you know trip up on things. But they're all over it, and it's to me that's hilarious because uh, who's who's an anti pixie duster now, bitch? I love this though. Wait, you mean this lady seen here watching Goofy steal a churro from a Make a Wish kid doesn't <laughs> know the name of her own product? Oh my god. <laughs> Lay incompetence. I just, I just um, think it's funny because the people that, and, and you know, some of these people have given thrown shade at us repeatedly. You're just negative. Oh, I hate them. They're just so they just they're just out there looking for things to complain about. Are the same people having a shit fit over this stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I just think it's funny. Everybody's, uh, you know, lining up to take a punch, to take a punch at Mickey. Now we we were shitting on Mickey before it was cool. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. But uh, in other blogs like WDW News Today, which, you know, you can't deny that they're Disney fans. I mean, Corliss, love him or hate him. He knows a shit ton about the theme parks. He has for years. He's had the blog and the podcast. And uh, Disney has tried very, very hard to destroy and discredit their blog. Well, again, criticism doesn't actually doesn't equate to negativity. It doesn't necessarily it can be the same thing, but it's not necessarily the same thing. Right. And um I just think it's 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 one word after another with these people. That's the thing. And look, they've got bigger issues <laughs> to deal with right now. Maybe they're slipping because of all the shit going on with Disney. I'm right wondering because there's times I get like when I'm really overwhelmed, I forget simple words like motto. Like motto. Yeah, yeah. he had the guys would have to cut that part out where I couldn't oh, remember yeah. the word motto. I mean, I, I I trip over simple words. Now, not something as big as the Galactic Star Cruiser. Yeah, I just I thought that was that was crazy. But th again, this has been going on a lot lately, um, and it just seems like I don't know if their executives are spread too thin, or they really truly do not give a shit about what they're putting out. Um, they're more concerned about Disney Plus and their stock and their. But Battlestar Galactic. I know that was that was pretty bad. That would be a more that it's would funny though. It's funny as heck. I would I would love to go to a Battlestar Galactica hotel. Probably more fun than that. With the Cylons and and uh, the uh, the original Battlestar Galactica with the singers that had like four faces, two faces. Remember they had two faces. I remember like that. Four I don't eyes. remember that. It's the very first episode, I think, and they had these like disco lounge singers. And that makes like, sense for the show in the time period. Yeah, they had like they're like, hey, let's one up the cantina scene in Star Wars. Let's have disco lounge singers with two faces. Don't really, remember that. But oh, okay. when I was a kid, I was terrified. They used to run I mean, obviously I didn't watch it, you know, first run, but they would run the reruns after school about Star Galactica and Buck Rogers and all these like wannabe Star Wars shows that failed. And I'd watch that and then I'd watch you know, BDB to beat on on Buck Rogers. I used to watch I used to watch the the because my dad watched them. So Yeah. Uh, but it's been years. I swear the silence scared the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah. They were pretty scary. Mm-hmm. And then there was a guy that looked like lipstick. He was like remember. the Cylon leader. He looked like. Oh yeah, yeah. He looked like lipstick. That, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, uh, we're gonna wrap this up. Yep. I would, I would love to. Now I want Battlestar Galactica land. They need I, to build that in Epic mm, Universe. No. Really? I don't think I don't. I mean, you can go. I have, I have no interest. Okay. We have no interest in in Galaxy's Edge either. So. That's anymore now. <laughs> Going to wrap it up? Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume and don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. You know, run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Wait, oh, wait, oh she it. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Ah! Right where you
you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. Or is it bootleg? Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>